You said we're gonna get to know the Tasia now. So does that mean no more music? Or is that <laughs> different music? Or ha ha ha. Say it with your chest. <laughs> I can never stop singing because that's what God has placed me on this earth to do. Yeah. But the, yeah, the music will change. Mm -hmm. The sound will change. Yeah. It's a time for a new sound. It's time for a new sound. It's time for me to, you know, I think that everything that has happened in my life has been necessary and so intentional. That's why I always be like, God, you're funny. Because he allowed me, he opened up the door and allowed me to win Idol and allowed me to, to take so many people with me who still will say, I don't care if you sing the ABCs, I'm going. Mm -hmm. And I would notice like at the end of my shows, whenever I went into worship, mm. I would just look around the room and I'd be like, yo, People who didn't stand up the whole time, now the whole room is standing. Everybody's got their hands lifted, mm -hmm. drunk and all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're like, right. I, I lift my hand in total Come praise. Yes. So I'm like, you know what, God? I think every, you, this is intentional. You allowed me. You opened up doors. You allowed people to fall in love mm -hmm. with Tasia, with me. Right. And now it's time for me to take them on another journey, which is into worship. So... That's, a worship album? Yeah, you got it first. <laughs> Thank you for that exclusive. Yeah, it's, it's my heart time. so happy. I'm going to be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. It's yeah. definitely time. And I'm I'm, I'm ready. I, I, it's not the same over there. And I don't want to give all my goods to to right. to an area that doesn't deserve it. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to give it back to God. How neat. Because this is such a time where I know people are looking for something. We're so isolated and alone and they're really in, like looking out for everything and everything that the world has to give. So the fact that you're able to give this offering of worship and be able to bring people to the feet of Jesus in a way that's authentic to who you are, it's just going to be a beautiful thing. And I'm already um, celebrating the hearts and souls that are going to connect to this project. So thank you for being obedient um, and recognizing um, your ministry and your platform. We're grateful and honored that you are confident you know who you are and that what you're doing is from the place of affirmation of his love. It's not for his affirmation that you're able to embody that. So thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. You keep trying to make me cry. I'm not no, doing it. No, listen, that's not the biggest, <laughs> the biggest thing I think that this world is looking for is love. Yes. And oh they look for God. it in all the wrong places. Oh, my God. And if we knew that our <laughs> Heavenly Father loved us beyond a shadow of a doubt, like it says in Matthew 3, before Jesus did any... Um, active ministry, and thank you, KJ, for reminding me of that. Um, the Lord said with a loud, boisterous voice that, Dearly beloved, this is my son whom I well please. God didn't do a thing. Jesus didn't do a thing. He didn't do mm -hmm. not a nary miracle, mm -hmm. but God was pleased with his son. Yeah. And so when Jesus went out and he was in his ministry, he did it from the affirmation, not for the affirmation. Yes. And I think there's something so sweet and powerful to the both of y'all, both of y'all's ministry, that y'all know who you are in him. And it's evident and that that he is your only source <laughs> and yes. because of what you're doing it's attracting the right heart and even the hearts that don't even know who God is but there's something um, real and genuine about the two of y'all and then the two of y'all individually it's because it's evident that his love mm -hmm.